The nail-biting countdown for India's moonshot has officially kicked off. The de-boosting of Chandrayaan-3 has been concluded. This is the first part of the de-boosting operation and it's part of essentially the final preparations where every single time you see a de-boosting, you're going to be seeing Lander Vikram getting closer and closer to the moon. At this point, it's been brought about 112 to 113 kilometers around the moon. Now, on 19th August, actually at this point, it was confirmed that that will be on 20th August. 20th August, 2 a.m. is when Chandrayaan will move even closer. The next deboosting will happen, which will bring it uh, the, to the closest point of the moon at 24 kilometers. ISRO announced that Chandrayaan 3's lander module has successfully separated from the propulsion module. This was announced yesterday. Uh, all through it was a propulsion module that was powering Chandrayaan 3. Now Lander Vikram is on his own traveling uh, with 1,700 and 700 kilos on him to the moon. Yes, everything is going as per planned, this one. We are working out that uh, different, different maneuvers. Now that uh, yesterday when we separated, it was like 167 by 167 kilometer orbit or so. Now it will be slowly, it will be decreased. To the final orbit of that uh, 30 kilometers by one um, 100 kilometers there. Okay, a deep boost. Uh, this one day is every day it will be there. So small, small that the uh, maneuvers will be there. This one it is not a uh, thing special. This one, and uh, finally anyway we need to achieve the orbit of 100 kilometers by 30 kilometers. Here 30 kilometers is the place from where this uh, our descent is started. Getting started. This orbit will be that uh, trimmed to get, get into the 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers orbit. Yes, uh, this is the orbit from which from this is the altitude 30 kilometer altitude from which this uh, lander will start journey towards the surface of the Earth. I mean, uh, moon. So the next few days, this uh, maneuvers will be done to achieve this particular orbit size. Yeah, probably at the end, I think a, a very short while from now, it is designed for the to closer orbit. It's uh, gradually inching towards the surface of moon. And uh, I'm sure these pictures will excite every Indian, but uh, for the scientific fraternity, they would have other connotations as well. The imagery would uh, give indication of the kind of uh, crater, the kind of uh, surface, the kind of milieu uh, over there. So I, I, uh, uh, I think it's uh, appropriate to say that uh, the, the lander has started doing its work even before it's uh, or started performing its task even before it is landed. So Chandrayaan-3 mission blasted off for the moon on 14th July. In its more than a month-long journey, it successfully completed several crucial maneuvers and is now nearing a very, very exciting finish. The lander will descend to a slightly lower orbit in the coming days as well. It's already come down to the 113-kilometer orbit to 24-kilometer orbit next in two days from now. Let's round up for you all the key highlights in Chandrayaan's journey so far. Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft and propulsion module, having spent 34 days together, parted ways and embarked on their respective journeys on 17th August. The propulsion module separated from the lander while in lunar orbit. A day before, on 16th August, the spacecraft had successfully completed a crucial firing operation, placing it into an orbit of 153 kilometers by 163 kilometers around the moon. This marked the completion of the lunar bound maneuvers and brought the spacecraft one step closer to its ultimate goal of landing on the south pole of the moon. This is, it is a really a vital, vital element because uh, now you look at Chandrayaan 3 mission basically consists of uh, uh, three plus one four modules type of thing. First is LVM 3 which has taken the uh, composite of uh, Vikram lander uh, propulsion module and the Pregnion, the rover, uh, to the 36,000 kilometer uh, highly elliptical orbit. From there, uh, using a five earthbound maneuvers, earthbound maneuvers, a propulsion module has taken the composite of Vikram 
lander and the breaking on to the lunar orbit. So again, the lunar orbit also from the elliptical orbit, it has now brought to the near circular, close to the moon, around 153 kilometer orbit, it has brought 153 by 163 kilometer. So now, uh, the important thing is, uh, fi final thing is softly and securely landing on the moon. The propulsion module is a box-like structure with a large solar panel and a cylinder on top. It is responsible for carrying the lander and rover configuration until the spacecraft reaches a hundred kilometers lunar orbit. The propulsion module will now continue its role as a communication relay satellite. Now Vikram has to take its own course of action. Further it has to separate. So even after, after separating, then the major event comes. The major event is uh, uh, four uh, 800 Newton thrusters. They have to fire to take it to the lower orbit. They, that also will be done in two steps. And uh, ensuring that all the three systems are working properly, these two steps will go down, put 100 kilometer orbit, then from 100 to go to the uh, 30 kilometer orbit. 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. That's a very, very vital. But when it's going very closer, closer to the Earth, so the position of the module has to be ascertained properly. Carrying hopes of billions of Indians, Bahubali rocket LVM-3 lifted off from Sri Harikota on 14th of July, with Chandrayaan-3 aiming to land a rover on the moon's surface. The takeoff was picture perfect. More than a month later, it's now on its last leg to make history an Indian space dream come true.